Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be walking through Cisco Packet Tracer Activity 9.2.3.3 titled Configuring an ACL on VTY Lines. To begin, we'll want to open up our Packet Tracer Activity. I'm going to go ahead and give mine a reset. And we'll keep our addressing table up over here. And so the scenario for this is that we are the network administrator and we need to have remote access to our router. This access, however, should not be available to other users on the network. So we're going to configure and apply an access control list that will allow the PC access to the telnet lines, but will deny all other IP address sources access to the VTY lines. So the first thing we're going to check is that both computers can telnet to the router. So we're going to hop into our PC first, get into our command prompt, and we're just going to go ahead and tell it to telnet into the router. And so there it is. And password is Cisco if, you're, uh, if you have this packet open. And so we know that the PC can telnet directly and no problems. So let's try it for the laptop. and even our laptop can turn it into our router. So this is the kind of situation we don't want, where other users can get in and mess with our router. So, to set this up, we're going to start in the router and the command line interface. We want to get up to the global configuration mode and we want to create an access list. And we're just going to create a standard numbered ACL. We're going to leave it number 99 and we're going to tell it to permit host 10.0.0.1, which is our PC, so assuming we have static IP addresses set for some of these devices. Um, by default, once we set something for access, if we don't set anything else for access, it'll, it automatically, by default, has a deny all or deny any applied after this. You could go and tell it deny any access list 99 deny any and so these read from the top down so as so as our PC connects to our router it'll read this line first and say oh well I am this host so I'm allowed in and then when any other device connects it'll still read from the top down it'll say well I'm not this specific host and so it'll continue down the list and, and see this line, deny any. If you're not this host, then you fall into this category and you're denied. Alright, so the next thing we want to do is to set this list to be active on an interface um, for our VTY lines. So we're going to go line VTY 015. And so this will configure it for all of these VTY lines and we're going to tell it access class 99 in. And then to check that, we can give the command show access lists. And we see that list 99 will permit only this host and deny everything else. So we want to verify that it's working correctly. We're going to start with the PC and we're going to try to tell that in again. So telnet, if you're still connected, just give the exit command to close the connection. And we're going to recreate the connection. And so our PC still has access to those VTY lines by telnet. And our laptop has been refused which means it did not pass that ACL list, the access control list, um, so it was denied access to that telnet line. Um, so that's specifically only for the telnet. That doesn't mean that the laptop can't utilize the router at all. It can still use the router to access remote networks, so it can still act as a gateway for the laptop or for any other computers out here. 
this is strictly setting it up so that no other devices can get in to configure the router remotely. And let's see... It says I set up my ACL incorrectly, even though we see it working properly. <coughs> And it was probably because I gave it that deny any. If we came over, I think they want us to leave it as the default, deny any. So we'll come back into here. And we'll give it a no command in front of that to remove that. And then show access lists. Looks like we completely removed the access list altogether, so we're just going to recreate it. Permit host 10.0.0.1. And then make sure it's still applied to the VTY lines. And there's our 100% completion. It was just removing that deny any command because it'll pick that up by default anyways. And we can double check and verify that it's still here. So our laptop's still denied and our PC will still have access. Alright, so I think that covers everything for this activity plus a little bit of extra. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below, and I'll see you all in my next video.